<laughs> Alright. Chapter Battle of the Birds now available. Look at all the gears. I mean, this is a really pretty game, man. The altar, how bright the nearby panel is when the power's on. Purely non-visual fun. I've selected Corgi Quest 7, the leeches that bind. You are a Corgi. Your name is Alan. You must sever the magical leash holding you to this plane of nastiness. Exits are north, east, and south. Go north. You go north. There is a tiger. Exits are south and advisable. Uh, we'll bark. You bark very loud and good. The tiger is unduly started and mauls you really quite badly. No. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, we'll open up the internet. We'll search. You have selected the search application and a search term. <laughs> um. We'll look for yarn. <laughs> Let's. All right, we'll go back to the internet. Surf the net. He's on the server. The okay. Unfortunately, time's low right now. Please check in later. Okay. Uh, we'll go to fun. We'll go to earth. There's like the earth application or the greatest mystery of our time. The earth does not exist. There's a fact that it's really improbable and that's just where science is right now. Even further grains of this theory, by all accounts, nobody can claim that ever discovered earth. There's only a record of people supposedly being born there or being told that it is real. The prevailing theory is that earth is a mass shared hallucination and that we should really just take things slow for a while and calm down to see if it goes away. Closing earth out. Oh crap. Heck no. You must reason by that game interplanetary thermonuclear. <laughs> interplanetary thermonuclear war. Uh, I believe that is a reference to um, war games. Seven stage tri and quantum harmonics pretty expensive. right now and then. Oh, excuse me. Let's find the next world. Dead Bird Studio. <laughs> uh, okay, we will go here first. Chapter 2, Battle of the Birds. Act 1, Dead Bird Studio. Um, I'm going to go back to the Mafia Town. 
I just want to see if I'm supposed to like compete against the other against mustache girl This movie studio is too big for the both of us DJ Groos the movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on bird seed, <laughs> ha, I'd visit my grandchildren. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You Owl Express birds are just going to record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. <laughs> what? No, we haven't, your buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh, yeah? Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. <sighs> <laughs> what the what? <laughs> you no good. Dirty picnics! You copied our prop! I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration. Oh, that does it! Get out of here with ya! I've got a movie to record! Fine by me, darling. But we'll <laughs> be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mo <laughs> it's supposed to be roller skates. <laughs> Penguins versus owls, Ooh, apparently. Yeah! Let's see how well you do when you can't get into the reception! <laughs> oh, wait, uh, shut my picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. All right, time to go, owls! Let's make our killer movie! Oh, and, uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? <laughs> I don't want... Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought? <laughs> hey! Watch where you're going, buddy! Don't get near DJ Grooves, all right? DJ Grooves means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be... You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Grooves' latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Grooves fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for... Oh, man, I keep yawning. I don't mean to. Seven thousand. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes kind I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all... I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Have you come to make another purchase? 
Uh, I don't know because I don't have a hold and release extra beam attack. Uh, well, I'll be back for that. Uh, yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, I really suck at interacting with other b <laughs> Did she put on 3D glasses? She did. <laughs> <laughs> you see my fingers here? You see how they're snapping? That- Oh look! My fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. Oh hey little chirper! They're recording right now so no one's allowed in. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. The controls on the game are not, um, they're not perfect. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, crud, I didn't know which way. I thought he was coming back. Yeah, crud. <laughs> I'm gonna owe them $300,000.
no, who was that? No. be ready to hit this thing. I mean, these levels... I mean, I this is just a fun game. If uh, anyone sees this and you're debating about getting it, um, I do recommend it. It is pretty funny. Can I hit this? I thought so. I think there was anything over here. No, 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 no. How do I get by this guy? Oh, you know what? I know. is everything I desire on the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? <laughs> the way he's dancing <laughs> is really, really funny, man. No, it's just a little girl. Hello. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are, frankly, terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. 
We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. It's a mafia <laughs> and a Ben Owl little figures kissing. Man, this game is hilarious. Darling, you're not very photogenic, huh? Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. <laughs> what am I supposed to look like? I'm supposed to look like a penguin? <laughs> what do penguins look like? Know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I give myself, penguins are, I mean, depending on which ones, they're black and they're white. Uh. Perfect! <laughs> Let's slide this picture into your passport and here you go! <laughs> I'm legally a bird now. Wonderful, darling! Oh, just wonderful! Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and... doing oh you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual bird movie awards that's more oh. where are my owl guards at oh, why are the owls so darn useless uh, all right listen here lass you're in big trouble if you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you're got to help me. That's right. You're got to be the star of my movies, too. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. Yeah. All right, I'm going to stop the stream. I'm obviously going to be able to come back and um, uh, play in the uh, intruder. Oh, it's the cat. Yeah, cook me up stuff. Can't say no to the cat. What a lovely spaceship you have here. Sorry for the breaking and entering. I, you know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for pay. Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you all know. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. 
I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. <laughs> burger cushion relic. <laughs> You can identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know. So keep an eye. I've taught you everything I know about relics. This game is this game is actually really really funny. Oh, this is a relic. Did I build it right? It's a match. You've identified a relic from this strange planet. A hamburger. Earthling sitting device. Research concludes that this thing is very soft to sit on, so soft that the only other thing is that these are the chairs of well, this planet. It's not a snack. I tried. It tastes like fabric. Alright, that. If you're able to identify a relic, something great. I've taught you everything I. Um, where was that? Where was he? Yeah, okay. Alright, so... That's pretty cool. It's like a, uh... Solar system? It's not. It's just that stuff's everywhere. Alright, so, alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end this, and uh, I may just go ahead and upload. Oh, man. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're seeing this, this is my first uh, real playthrough of A Hat in Time. And uh, I gotta check the stream, actually, just to make sure this recorded halfway decent, but I think everything's good. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching and uh, we will we will catch you next time. And I can't exit out of this thing. There we go. Go to the desktop. Alrighty guys, we will catch you next time. See ya.